Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot, and I'm back for the Sagittarius installment of LLE Astrology. This will be for August 1st through 15th, and uh, let's get cracking. You know what I'm saying? You know I love Sagittarius, because you know what I'm saying? I'm a twin of Sag, my mama Sag, and those are like my two OGs, you know what I'm saying? Two most important motherfuckers to me. And, uh, you know, it's mom and dad, you know what I'm saying? I love seeing what mom and pop got going on. <laughs> and this how, you know what I'm talking about now? Secret time. Sag just hate when people drop secrets on their ass, but we need to find out more about Sagittarius. You know I know why? Because y'all motherfuckers too private, man. I, we know y'all, I, well, they don't know, but I know y'all bury y'all lives and shit. Y'all, y'all, y'all live, y'all have, the average motherfucking grown, assass- <laughs> the average grown Sagittarius has buried their life at least twice. What I mean by that is like, when you was a teenager, your ass was on it. Sagittarius are very fucking independent. Y'all get on paper chase mode, y'all get on independent mode early. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be teenagers living grown ass lives and shit. Especially Sag women. Y'all grow up fast. It's known for a Sag woman to be like 18, 19, 20. We're on nice ass condo, nice ass gig, money in the bank account, shit like that. It's like, little girl, how you get on that? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? But it's like you'll never know because they did that past, right? And a whole damn near a whole new person. It's like you flip a whole new lifestyle. So you were from like, like trapping and. I don't know, whatever the fuck you was doing when you was a teen to, boom, now you're professional, you got your professional hat on, you got professional networks, contacts, motherfuckers getting to ask you about your former life, you get the, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> don't ever, don't, don't ever dig up my past, that shit is buried for a reason. Stay away from my grave site. My mama's telling me that shit every time when I was like a shorty. And I'm gonna just use this example just to really paint the picture, like, like I say. I was my father. He was locked up my whole life. He didn't get out until I was 25 and shit. But it's like, you know, not my biological father, um, but he is the man I got my name from. So since I have his name, and he just happened to be a, he just happened to be somebody. I'll just put it like that. He had Aries too. My mom's a Sag. Fire. I'm a Leo. Fire. You know, so it's like, When I asked my mama how she met my dad, it's like he was in prison when you met him. Mom, I know you're a missionary now and shit. <laughs> but you wasn't no saint your whole life. So, uh, what's up with that? I mean, I heard what happened, but I, I just want to hear it from you. She'll never tell me. Because in her head, if she don't say it, it ain't happened. So whoever the fuck told you what they told you about me, boy, if it ain't come out the horse's mouth, don't give a fuck what they talking about. Matter of fact, lead them alone. That's some sad shit, yo. Who told you that? Ah, oh, that's some bullshit. Leave them alone. You'll go up to see them niggas too. Like, hey, y'all better keep my motherfucking name on y'all mouth. Y'all know what the fuck I had to do to bury my past, goddammit. Y'all better stop digging my past up. <laughs> Straight like that. Y'all wear so many masks. Not because y'all fake. It's because y'all were somebody at one point in time. In the same lifetime. Like I say, y'all be having whole past lives, bro. But what y'all need to do is at least not let somebody know who y'all were, but let the people in y'all life who love y'all the most know who y'all were. I swear, I hate hearing shit about my mom because it's cool. Once, once again, it's a whole fire, uh, fire cool thing like Fonzie and shit. Like the shit I hear about my mom, G, like it's cool to me. Like I'm a street motherfucker. I'm a G. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like, not like raping, pillaging, and gang banging and drive bys and shit. I don't mean that when I say I'm a G. Might get facilitated with that shit, but it ain't nothing like that. Not with me. <laughs> Can't speak for the brethren, though. But look, I hear shit about me like, yo, for real? I'm always, <laughs> I'm always out here like that? What? Man, hell no. Nah. I don't believe that shit. Then I'll go to her and hell no, nah, that ain't happening. Oh, okay. I'll fix it. Well, really, that's what happened, but like I say, until it come out of her mouth, how do I really know? You know, it would be nice for her to just acknowledge some of that shit, but it'll never happen. <laughs> do not 
Rule number one in a Sagittarius. They don't give a fuck if they're a male or a female. Do not dig up their past. Okay? They will beat your ass. Okay? They will fucking fight. They will they will do some shit. They'll get you fired. They'll fuck your reputation up. You know what I mean? You will get eliminated. Depending on how powerful that person was they were beforehand. Or how big that secret is. You will get dealt with severely. If you if you cut too close to home of going to the lies of a sad. I'm going to really say this and get to the reading. It should be in about six minutes. Like I say, by me not knowing what my mom did, I kept like trying to go down a rabbit hole of her history. And it's like the more I try to get close to her, her background, the more she got violent on me. She, she was just really like, boy. You doing the same shit I was doing. Like that whole life I buried. How the fuck you come up on that life? That I was I buried that shit to keep you from that life. You didn't went into that life trying to figure out if I was in that life or not. Boy, stop digging my path. That's why I got this whole gay shit, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? It runs in the blood, son. So of course I'm gonna flock to it. You know what I'm saying? I heard stories about my mom and my pops out here in these streets, bro. It was like, yeah. Out here, you know what I'm saying? But I would never know. And the world will never know because that shit's buried. Rule number one, don't ever dig up a Sagittarius past on that show ass ready to get dealt with. Because they can be cold blooded. Because it's business. Never personal. <laughs> Straight up. It's like I'm gonna say that for the for the for the for the second round. Anyway, coming into this thing. Sagittarius off top. Nine of swords. Typical Sagittarius shit. Y'all stressing over nothing. Nothing about Sagittarius, man. They brains are powerful as shit. Anything a Sagittarius, like a Sag says or has a hunch on, I believe that shit. 95% of a Sagittarius hunch is correct. Either because it's really fucking true or they really be speaking shit into existence. Telling you, my mom or my twin to say some of the foulest shit. Like, why y'all say that? Why you say that? Like, why does everybody have to be looked at at that light? You will never have no optimism about shit. Then come find out, they told you. Told you not to trust that motherfucker. Told you not to go in that damn house that day. Told you. what I tell you? I hate that shit. I hate I told you so by a damn sad because they really told you so. And you get mad because it was some negative shit that told you was going to happen and then it happened. Just makes you feel extra dumb. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's like, y'all going to have to let this stress go. Like Even if it is a hunch of something you think it is deep down in your heart, you got to let that shit go. Why? Because you don't want to entertain that shit more than it's already been entertained. You've entertained it to the point where it's already, you got you losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight over let that shit go before you put yourself at a ten of pentacles. I mean, a ten of swords trying to hold on too tight to this shit or not letting go of the small shit. Whatever that is, whatever this nine of swords is, let it go. Coming into this thing, sad, feminine, feminine, let that shit go. Ten of wands, ending something you're passionate about. End it. End it before this shit turns to a ten of swords. End it. Why you still got the opportunity to let this shit go? You holding on too tight to something. Whatever that is you hold on too tight to, let that shit go. Whatever it is, it's a 3D thing. It ain't no fucking... I don't know. This doesn't... I mean, it's, I don't see a person on this shit. I just take it as like a... A object, ideology, or business move. Because it's all business with y'all. Never personal. You got to end something to begin something, Sagittarius Feminine. And whatever that is, you need to do it. It might be a relationship. Might be a relationship. Might be a job. Might be a long-standing belief or ideology. Might you think you kind of got somebody red, but you really don't got them red like that. It's nothing. Every time a Sag, every, every time a Sag think they got somebody figured out, they they, 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 they deal with them differently. I, don't, I mean, that's, don't do that. Just, just say you got them figured out and treat them how you've been treating them. That's the only hunch y'all don't be right on is when y'all think y'all got figured out. Y'all got good hunches to paint pictures, but y'all hunches on, y'all think y'all know people, those shits, that's the 5% that be wrong. 
Yo, punches are 95% correct, but you thinking you know some shit is the 5% miscount that you always be wrong on. Sagittarius is know what I'm talking about. And people who have Sagittarius in, them, in their lives know what I'm talking about. Sag male, you're getting ghosted. Okay? Queen of Cups. Somebody is, you're getting ghosted by somebody. Somebody is in your head. You can't stop thinking about it. You can't stop. It's like you're trying to shake them, but you can't. You're really trying to push yourself away from this person or this place or this thing. But it's like everywhere you turn, you see it. Him, her, it. It'd be a fucking car that you want to buy, but you know you ain't got the money to get. But you keep seeing this commercial for the car. You keep seeing the car everywhere you go. It's driving you fucking nuts. Or the fucking love interest that scares the shit out of you that makes you want to step the fuck back. It's too much for you. You know how it is when y'all in love. When shit gets overwhelming, y'all... Y'all cut that shit loose quick. Because I'm going to say this, man. When it comes to love and Sagittarius, man, y'all unemotional. That's why it's all business. To, to a Sagittarius, love, that shit is a weak emotion. <laughs> That's why this cup, emotions, it ain't emotions. It's you're getting ghosted. Y'all don't be in y'all feelings. It's only one good thing about Sagittarius and one bad thing about Sagittarius. Good thing about Sagittarius is anything they put their motherfucking mind to, they get. And they get it so fast, it fucked them up because then it take a whole bunch of long time trying to figure out what the next move is or trying to figure out what the next catch is or trying to figure out what the next person they're going to slay. It's a gift and a curse. Bad thing about a motherfucking Sagittarius, they are unemotionally, they're, un they're emotionally unavailable. Period. Because it's business, not personal. Ain't shit personal. Like I said, they treat their children like business. They're very unorthodox, but that's what makes them strong mothers. My mother was a sad. The way she raised me was very fucking, very fucking unorthodox. Not bad, just unorthodox. You know what I mean? Like MMA. <laughs> unorthodox as a motherfucker, you know what I mean? But it worked. But that, I don't think no other kids, like... I'm a Leo, my brother's a Leo, my sister's a Leo. We were all Leos, and I, we were in Sagittarius' house. All fire. It was nothing but fire in my household. That's why I think we survived that household, because we were all the same. If it was some Cancers, some Capricorns, some Geminis in my household, we would have we would have cracked. We wouldn't have been able to deal with mom. Not like that. <laughs> anyway. Sagittarius feminine, it's some shit you need to shed light on. And it speaks the same language as this 10 piece right here. You need to end something. Whatever this is you need to end, you need to shed some light on it. Shed light on why you need to end this. Why is it imperative for you to eradicate this out of your life? If it's a toxic person, why it's imperative for you to get them the fuck out of your life? This could be your husband. <laughs> it's imperative for you to rid yourself in this motherfucker. When I think about y'all sadness, y'all picked the wrong lovers, man. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all get caught up in the rapture of physical, not emotions. That's why y'all don't fuck with people who got real emotions for y'all or your own dinner. Or I don't ID with people who really feeling y'all emotionally because y'all ain't got no emotions. Only thing that y'all can feel is shit that y'all can taste, touch, and see. It's another thing about sads. That's why it's business and not fucking personal. Y'all gotta see shit to believe shit. Y'all don't give a fuck about what a person says. You're just saying that shit. Everybody talks. I gotta see it. If I don't see it, what you're saying, I mean, shit. I'm a Leo. It's the complete opposite. I have, I, I, I walk by faith, not by sight. So I ain't got to see shit to believe nothing. I'm going to believe it first until I see it. With a fucking Sag, with, who have a lot of faith, y'all are very self-righteous. Y'all are very righteous. But y'all cold-blooded. So all that self-righteousness go out the fucking door when you turn whatever you were self-righteous about into a business move. Any rate. As far as the feminine energy, Sag male, boy, you got the sauce. See a shit shimmering, man. Hey, Sag males, you coming up? You looking good? Feeling good? Smelling good? Shit, must be on your shit, huh? Ha! Look like you're in shit biscuits here. Looks like the feminine energy is really digging you right now. It's like you're LL Cool J to the hoes now. Cause you probably lost weight. Cause like I said, whatever diet or workout regimen, or even if you wasn't working out, you was just like eating right and 
or eating less or whatever the fuck. That shit seem to be working. It's starting to physically show. You getting like a glow. All Sages got a glow about themselves. Especially if you're a high yellow Sag or a light skin or, a, or a, like a fair skin foreigner Sag. Y'all tan up and shit. It's like when y'all pale, y'all ain't as saucy as y'all is when y'all got like the, when the sun crisp y'all shit the right way. Like when y'all bronzed up and shit. It's like my twin. He's a yellow motherfucker. He's either like high yellow or he's bronzed. To where he's like, least looks like me. I'm not black, black. I'm like mocha. But he's like either this or this. He switches color like a chameleon. It happens during the suntime, like the summertime. His birthday is in like November. Sad's birthday. Y'all birthdays be in the winter. So like during y'all birthday time, y'all a whole nother color. Y'all be in a whole nother mood and shit. But when the sun out in the, in the summertime, y'all got like highlights. Y'all let y'all hair grow. Y'all get tans and shit. Like y'all look completely different. Saucy. You saucy, son. So why you saucy? Fuck it. You in regards to yourself. Going to the next car. Leveling up. Yeah. Taste the rainbow. You saucy. Taste the rainbow. You might find the one. You know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> you're only getting better. It's like you're looking better and you're only going to look better over time. It's like... You, you, you know what I'm saying? This is a good... Good... Good frequency to be on. This is a good vibration to be on. Okay. Keep this sauce. Whatever, whatever, whatever got you saucy out here, keep that shit. Whoever making you saucy and shit, whoever making you making you look good and do good shit, keep that. That's a good look. Okay. Now, Sag feminine. In regards to the masculine energy, you three of cups now out here. And this is exactly what the fuck it is. Three of cups. Like I said, you're probably in a situation already but you got something new that's in the way of the shit you've already established. But this establishment was a whack establishment. It's like you were married to like a person. That's not a thing. Like the people y'all be with, Sag, is like y'all, it's like y'all be wearing masks. Y'all ain't y'all authentic selves when y'all meet y'all mates. That's why when y'all be with y'all mates, the real mate says hello, who they really are. This is who I really am. And then you reveal, yeah, this is who I really am. Well, damn. You came into this shit. I came in, like as a Sag, you came into this relationship on business, and whoever your mate is, they probably came with some whole under, some whole, a whole nother agenda. You know what I'm saying? Or motive you, you didn't even see coming. Y'all bad judge of character. All fire signs are bad judges of character, because we're so passionate in our shit, we kind of get caught up. But you three a cup enough, Sag Feminine. And I just take this as whoever makes you the most happiest in this three a cup demo, be with them. Don't be with somebody you ain't happy with, fulfilled with, who doesn't make you smile, who doesn't make you light up, who ain't got you saucy out here. Because what's going to happen if you don't choose the people you want to be with instead of accepting or settling with the motherfuckers you're with, what's going to happen is you're going to put yourself in a box that speaks the same language as this box. You're going to seal this box. This shit gonna be the sunken place. <laughs> Tomorrow, out. If you don't pick the one you were meant to be with, why you have the opportunity to make these motherfucking changes? If you choose to settle with the motherfucker that isn't, like, they ain't doing nothing for you. They ain't making you happy or nothing. They ain't even making your situation better. If you choose to stay with that person, you're gonna end up in the fucking sunken place. You're gonna be so deep in the hole, you can't nobody get out. You in a space where only you can get out. Get out! Get out like the motherfucking movie before you end up in a sunken place. Sunken place is just you all assed out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Masculine. In regards to yourself, you seven a cup. So it's like you tasting the rainbow out here. You saucy. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? You just playing a game as it go. You snatching all these hoes like King Kong on building, man. Dating all of them. Hanging with all of them. Getting to know all of them, man. Getting your Hugh Hefner on. Not ho. You're not a slut. It's all, it's all isn't sex. It's nothing. See, Sagittarius, y'all flirt. Like, y'all natural flirters. It's like, y'all be nice to people when y'all talk to people. But when you're trying to be nice, you flirt. You exude sexuality everywhere you go. Subconsciously, you do this shit subconsciously. That's why y'all mates don't be liking y'all when y'all talk to new people. Cause they be like, man, you always flirting. It's like I ain't flirting. I'm being nice. Well, why you got your titties on them and shit? 
My titties look nice. It ain't my fault my shit look like this. I mean, I can't stop this. You like them? <laughs> you know what I mean? Top B, so it's like... <laughs> it's like you just tasting the rainbow. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. In fact, Sash Feminine, this is the shit you need to be doing. Whole time. Because going to the future, Sash Feminine, you in a box. And you need to get out that box. Get out. Like the movie. But you end up in a sunken place. Sad male going to the future, you're going into divine mode. If you're a twin flame, then you're going to step into your divine, you're just stepping into your divinity. You either headed towards union with your twin, or you like, you finna get some awareness. You finna get like, you finna ascend. You finna go to the next level. Because like I say, you already got powers, psychic intuition. You already got confidence and intuition and moving in a way that you ain't been moving lately. On top of that, you saucy. You looking good. It's like you you in a, uh, physically in a, a position you've never been before. And then it's like you ascended. You moving on up like George and Wheezy. So it's only natural. You attain your divinity. This is the equivalent of like, like I say, this is where you always wanted to be. Like you were grooming yourself and working out and getting tanned and, you know, Making these business moves it was like he was doing all this shit for a reason. It's like you finally get into to the to the climax of that. Clarification time. A sip of water. So um another thing y'all really need to understand about Sages is like I said, it's like a new Jack City. When Nino Brown and Ice-T was talking, and Nino Brown was giving Ice-T a history on who the fuck he is, and how he came into power and shit, thus the story about him killing his mom and all that stuff, uh, killing Ice-T's mom, which Ice-T didn't reveal while they was talking, but if you know that movie, and you know this part of the movie, it's that part of the movie when Ice-T asked Nino Brown, like, yo, so what you did, like, was that, like, business or personal? And you know, Brown was like, brother, it's always business. Never personal. That's how Sagittarius live their life, man. It's fucking business. This is not a relationship. This is a business relationship. Sag is coming to a relationship trying to be on some Jay-Z and Beyonce shit. They come to build. They come to, to be more than 10 times what they was before they got in the demonstration with you. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to evolve from every level. Relationship for Sagittarius is a chance to grow on every level. Why? Because they bring in somebody who is stranger in their mix. It's like you were a sole corporation until you start dating somebody. Now it's a uh, now it's a uh, joint operation. You know what I'm saying? It was a sole proprietorship. Now it's like a joint venture. But it really ain't a joint venture because the Sagittarius at the end of the day, like I say, if they had a house when you met them and y'all living together, you best believe that Sag still has that house or still will have that house. You looking at it like, oh, it's a trap. She can always move there if she keep her house. So you need to sell it. No, fuck no. Because she's keeping it to build an empire if you're doing what the fuck you need to do. He's keeping it to build an empire if you're doing what the fuck you need to do. Now, if you ain't on what you need to be on, then yeah, she will go back to that crib. Yes, he will go back to his home. It's his shit. His shit is his shit. Her shit is her shit. That's very sad of y'all to have, be in whole relationships, be married and shit. With three bank accounts. It's like, I got my bank account. We got our bank account. Because what's yours is mine and mine is yours. But what about you? That's mine. We have ours. You can get yours too. I'm going to be dipping out yours too. So really yours is mine. Mine's is mine and ours is mine. This shit is all mine. <laughs> Business. Business. It ain't bogus. It's business. Especially if she a woman. It's business. Sad woman. That's business. She a survivor. Like Destiny's fucking child. She's going to survive. She's been surviving. She was surviving before she met you. She will survive when you leave, motherfucker. It's independence. Freedom. 
two things that Sagittarius do not want to fucking lose. That's why they shaking, scared to death at their wedding because they think that this is it's over with. That's what's going in their head. Fuck, it's over with. It ain't my life anymore. It's a we. It ain't me no more. It's we. Fuck. You need to be embracing this motherfucking day. You're not losing your life. You're gaining another one. You're not losing property. You're, you know what I'm saying? By sharing it, you're gaining more. You're getting appreciation. This is appreciation. You know what I mean? Not depreciation. It's just sad. Just don't see it like that. Y'all see it as bad when it's a bad move to be in a joint venture. Well, really, that joint venture is just going to get you. It's going to build anyway. Anyway. Clarifying the stressing card. It's not a swords. We got the eight of pentacles. Once again, you reaping what you sow. Stop thinking negative thoughts, Sagittarius, before you really think some super negative shit that actually happened. What you think about, you bring about. What you permit, you promote. Might come in the form of, like I said, some crazy shit. You was thinking some crazy shit is going to happen, and boom, that same crazy shit you was thinking about happens, manifests. Think about your breathing about. Think about something positive. Because whatever this is, you don't want to let go of. Y'all both don't want to let go of. One of y'all don't want to let go of. It's hurting y'all. Not wanting to, like, holding on too tight to whatever the hell y'all holding on too tight to and not want to let go is fucking hurting you. Like I say, whatever you holding on to, it's like it's a rope tied to your head. It's already burned half your hand. You've Indian burned, like, 30% of your fucking hand. Holding on too tight to this shit. Let it go. You're going to lose your whole fucking hand trying to hold on to something that you really can't even keep. Dumbass move. Let that shit go. Coming in this thing. Whatever this is, you got to let go. Passionately, sad feminine. Make that happen. If you got to talk about it, talk about it. If you got to go to a shrink, you got to get some help to get you through this shit. Do it. Do whatever the fuck you need to do to make this happen. But it's got to happen. Okay? It's got to happen. If it doesn't, you're going to be stagnant. You're going to be in the sunken place. Get out. <laughs> Get out. As far as, Sag Mill, as far as this ghost and shit, you got the full card. Like I say, this ghost and shit is new. You ain't never had nobody riddle your brain like this. You ain't never had something this spiritual in your life happen. You ain't never had nothing of this magnitude. Happening to you. It's like, like I say, it's like you're going through a spiritual thing to where it's like, it's like I say, you're going through new emotions you've never had before. New situations you've never had before. You're looking at life different, more different than you've ever seen it. You're looking at people different. You're looking at situations different. You're looking at everything different. You're looking at life and death different. You know what I'm saying? You're looking at your relationships different. You're looking at your lifestyle different different. Change is going to happen. You feel it. Go with the flow. Sounds feminine. What you need to shed some light on <laughs> is the person you share the same space with. I'm sure whoever you share the same space with is a person you need to not share the motherfucking same space with. And you need to tell them this shit. Sages, y'all, it's business, not personal. Y'all move in a manner to well let me just give two examples. Go back to my OG. Ultimate Sag. My mama do some shit like... <laughs> single mother, let me remind you. She's with a dude. You know, and Sag is, y'all don't fuck with, like, lames. He's either a powerful person, a wealthy person, or a person with a whole lot of notoriety and some juice or something. They ain't regular people. Y'all don't fuck with regular people. That's why y'all end up fucking with, like, drug dealers or... Like celebrities and shit, like politicians. That's why y'all gotta bury y'all past and shit because of the people y'all be dealing with. Anyway, it's like <laughs> Gee, it's like you share the same space with somebody you don't need to say share the same space with. You've seen everything you need to see. The light has been shown. You've seen everything you need to see. You've heard everything you need to hear. You've done everything you need to do in this position right here. You know what time it is. Make it happen. In that. You got to end something. To begin something. The more you stay in this shit, the more you're going to get trapped. Whoever the hell you got to talk to to get you through this, 
get through it. I'm trying to tell you. Alright? I'm going to tell you why in the future. As far as this Sagittarius male in regards to the feminine energy. It's like you saucy and you showing tough love out here. So like I said, you hard on these hoes. <laughs> so you going hard. You know what I'm saying? You going hard. You know what I mean? This sauce kind of getting to your head. It's like you looking so good. Like you just shitting on all the hoes now. Like you know what I'm saying? Because at first they didn't want you. Now they want you. It's like bitch, you didn't even want me. Like kick rocks. You know what I'm saying? You don't want me before. I'm fucking me now because I'm popping. Now because I'm looking good, smelling good, feeling better. Shorty, go that way. <laughs> go that way. <laughs> it's like you you being hard. You being hard. <laughs> you going hard right now. And you going hard. Don't, don't be too hard on them, G. Don't be too hard on them, G. Straight up. Feminine Sag, you in regards to masculine energy, like I say. You keep three a cup in. Four cups, three plus ace, that's four cups. Four cups. Hey. Keep it up. Alright? If you don't eliminate yourself away from the situation, listen, three of cups. Hey, away. Take away. Take this shit. Look. If you know what I'm saying? If this is man, if like I say, this is your current situation. This is the person. You share the same space with. This new person right here is like, this is what's making you feel good. This is what's making you want to leave. So take this, this, and run with it. You know what I'm saying? Remove yourself out of this three of cups before you end up in a sunken place or six feet on the ground or some shit, man. Not dead, but just like, it's all bad. Ain't nothing good coming from staying in a situation that's karmically a ticking time bomb. It ain't divine. Can't be. Otherwise, it wouldn't look like this, like straight up. So, masculine in regards to himself. It's like, yeah, he can taste the rainbow, but he's good. Yeah, it's hella crows out here he can snatch, but he's good. You know, he's good. He's in a nice space. Like I said, he's just enjoying looking good. He's just enjoying feeling good. You know what I mean? Because really the person that kind of changed his life is kind of who he wants to woo. Kind of who he wants to mingle with on the slick. As far as the feminine going to the future, like I said, you either gonna get out this box, this four of cups, you either gonna get out this matrix, or you're gonna be, like I say, in deeper than you've ever been. It was four of cups when you had the chance to leave. If you don't leave, that four of cups gonna turn into an eight of cups. This is like you buried. More dirt going on top of a coffin. It's like right now you got a chance to exit. If you don't take the Freaking, if you don't take advantage right now, like I say, it's just going to be more trouble for you to get out of the situation you in. I don't know what you in, but you can say how I'm talking about it. It's a major shit. As far as the masculine going to the future, like I say, you're in divine mode and your wish is going to be granted. So once again, you're looking for a twin flame, it's like you want <laughs> Like I say, like, wish is granted. If it was your wish is granted to find the love of your life, it's already been found. Your wish, or at least you finally realize that your wish been true. I don't take this as a wish coming true. I take this as some shit that already been around that you finally got aware of. Wish is granted. Not only are you going to the future of a new man, a divine man, it's like you're going to get your wish through. Whatever wish you had, that shit will get granted. That's the message that I got. Hope I can be of some assistance. It's your boy D-Bone. We got um, Leo last. Fire is almost over. Stay tuned.